Hi friends, welcome to A Wonderful Sheep. I hope you are all safe and well. Today I dusted off my gouache paints to do two paintings inspired by the sets from BTS's new music video for Dynamite. I know this is the second video in a row dedicated to Dynamite, but that's how much that video inspired me. Not only to look into and become a fan of BTS, but also just the music video itself was such a colorful, fun video. It's such an upbeat song, but also the color palette of the video was really fun. The costumes and the set design was really inspiring. And the way the cinematography was, usually K-pop videos have a lot of fancy camera work with like swirling and spinning, but this was a lot of fixed camera work so you could really focus on the singer's expressions and their acting and their dancing of course and just one more thing that i want to point out about the video if you watch it is the way they transition from scene to scene was really interesting every time i watch it i catch something new where it's like a look a gesture a point uh, that transitions one scene to the next scene and it's so seamless but it's so fun to catch those little details and yeah, I just really enjoy the music video, so I wanted to paint two of the sets from the video. It's not specific, but I feel like this the video was set in like California and it has the retro vibe as well. So the first scene that I'm doing is in front of the donut shop and I'm going in with my gouache paints and I'm not very experienced with gouache. I actually bought these gouache paints on accident. I thought I was buying watercolors, a set of watercolors, and later I found out they were gouache. So that shows you how much I knew about paints last year. But I'd like to do more gouache, especially because a lot of the YouTube artists that I like to watch, like the average artist, use gouache a lot and they use it really well. Those jelly gouache in particular look really fun and I'd like to try those someday, but I feel like I can't justify getting those yet when I don't even really use the gouache paints that I have. These are the Artist Loft gouache and also um, some of the Pebeo gouache. But I need to get the hang of gouache because I think I still mix too much water in to the paint when I'm mixing it because it still comes out pretty streaky. It's better now with the donut that I'm painting, but as you can see from the sky in the background, that, that sky is super streaky, which is why later I will turn this into a mixed media piece. Uh, right now, <laughs> I needed to use something to cover up the gouache and I didn't feel like going over again with the paint because I didn't think it would work out. Maybe I'll experiment more with you know, continuously layering on paints, but for this piece I just wanted to try colored pencil, which sort of works out in the end, but I think if I want to do this properly, this type of mixed media, I will need to use different paper because the paper that I'm using now. It says it's for gouache and colored pencil, but it's still pretty toothy. You couldn't really tell with the gouache only, but when I added the colored pencil, you can see all the, the bumpiness, the toothiness of the paper. And maybe that's a cool texture, but it didn't achieve that smooth look that I wanted. So next time I will try different paper, and I'll link all the materials that I used in the description below. I'm mostly using my Prismacolor color pencils, but I also added some details with my new Faber-Castell Pitt pastel pencils. Those I think would be better for when I want to blend something and do a lot of smudging, which I didn't want to do here, but I just wanted to try them out on this piece. And honestly, I'm just sort of winging it, just trying to add different colors to try to bring the whole piece together and going over the streaky bits of the painting with my color pencil to try to cover that up. In the music video, obviously, there is a dancer. One of the members, Jimin, is dancing in front of the shop, but I didn't feel confident enough to try to draw him in yet. I didn't want to botch him, so I just left out the dancing. And in 
the end I did add some cloud with my oil pastels which I think really finished off the piece. Now on to the second piece. To be honest, the two sets I chose for the paintings were the ones I thought would be easiest to paint. I've not done finished pieces like this before where it's like, you know, fairly complete and it's a whole scene with sky and ground and everything. I do more like objects or maybe a figure drawing or some collages, but this is the first time in a very long time, at least in recent memory, that I've done a painting with a whole scene. So I tried to keep it simple and the second piece is the basketball court scene. I need to work on brush control and I think just a little more planning. I sort of dived into it and now I can clearly see how wonky that that half court circle is. It's clearly lopsided. I don't know why I didn't see that at the time. This is a good exercise for practicing perspective as well. I didn't really pay too much attention to the perspective. I sort of have the lines right. I think it, at least the impression of the lines and the perspective is there, but it's probably pretty off if you compare it to the actual reference photo. For the second piece, I went in a little bit lighter with the gouache because I thought in the first piece I got in too heavy and too dark but maybe a little bit too light. As you can see how streaky is that basketball court right now. I tried to add some of the shadows with a darker brown color and it just ended up super streaky, but it's nothing that several, several layers of blending in different colors of colored pencils can't fix, more or less. I think it doesn't come out as terribly streaky looking in the end. Again, this paper is that toothy textured paper, so it wasn't as smooth as I would have hoped. Also for the details that I went in with the colored pencil with, I ended up mixing sort of two types of techniques, I guess. For the first palm trees, for example, I'm articulating like each palm frond and it's a lot more detailed. But then later on, I go in with more of an impression of the piece. Like I sort of just scribble in the different palm fronds or the sections of the palm tree to give like the impression of a palm tree since the base color is already down. And I don't know if that's a good idea to mix those two approaches in one painting, but that's what I did. I guess this is an experiment of sorts. And I did rely a lot more on my colored pencils in this piece, both to cover up all the streakiness from the gouache and also just to brighten things up. For example, you know, the, the background mural becomes a lot more colorful and brighter when I add these colored pencils. It made me wonder if there was even a point to adding that layer of watercolor since it changes so much when I add the color pencil, but I'd like to believe there is a little more depth, a little more layer to the piece because I did have that base gouache layer. We'll have to do a comparison later, but this is the way I see other like mixed media artists work, so I'm just doing what I see on YouTube. And I tried to add a little shadow to the clouds this time by going in with my gray and blue color pencils over the oil pastels. With sort of the impression of the backgrounds laid down, I went in with my color pencils to add in the finer details. The palm trees are no longer floating heads in the sky, they have trunks now. And then I went in with just a plain old 2B pencil to add the impression of things in the background. Obviously in the reference photo there are very detailed objects like cars and street lights and, and street posts but I just sort of gave the impression of those things like a, a rectangle and two wheels and and the impression of windows which I hope works I think it does I guess technically things in the background don't have to be as detailed but 
I think ironically in this piece, this is probably the most detailed part of the whole piece. Again, still trying to figure out composition and what works. You'll have to let me know what you think. I'd love to hear. I am not a formally trained artist by any means. I just liked art and I like watching art YouTube videos. So I wanted to share my own and hopefully I'm learning and improving the more I do art. And again, just adding more of an impression of the details in the background. And this last bit is the shadows from what you can't see on camera, but I assume is like the fencing around the basketball court. And I do decide to add Suga, the band member that's in this scene. I add the impression of him and his shadow on the basketball court. I don't know if you can tell that's a person, but that's a person. <laughs> it's a very good looking, very talented person. And that is about it for this second piece. It has a little bit of a lighter feel than the first piece. It's lighter in terms of light value. It also has a different feel since I added more details with the 2B pencil, but you'll have to tell me which one you like better. And thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me on this gouache journey, and I will see you back here for more art and stationery videos from Seoul, South Korea. Bye.